equations. Let us use the same method to solve it so that uh, we, will, we will be thorough with this method. Okay. So again, uh, remember the diagram. I am repeatedly drawing the diagram so that it uh, comes to your mind very easily. So as I said, you draw a plus in the form of a C here, right? Plus, 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 plus. Similarly, here, plus, 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 plus. Okay, all the other are going to be negative. So this is B, a sign of Bx, C, smaller root, bigger root. Now remember this picture. See, both are positive, correct? So both the roots are going to be negative here. Here also both the roots are going to be negative. Both roots are negative. That's all I know from that now. Now, let us look at the first equation. 2x squared plus 17x plus 36 is equal to 0. So what is the product of A and C? 36 into 2, correct? 36 into 2, that is 36 into 2, that is equal to 72. So now I need two numbers whose product is 72 and whose sum is 19. Very easy. What are the two numbers? 19 and 17, not 19, 17. So uh, product of two numbers is 72, sum of the two numbers is 17. So what is the only possible numbers that can come? It is 8 and 9, correct? Now here you know, uh, again here the coefficient of x squared. What is the coefficient of x squared? It is 2. So do 8 by 2 and 9 by 2. So 4 and uh, 9 by 2, let it be like that itself. 4 and 9 by 2. Now, using the sign method, we know that the roots of this equation both are going to be negative roots. So, put a minus sign in front. Minus 4 and minus 9 by 2. Okay, so those are going to be the roots of this quadratic equation. Now, next look at the next equation. Uh, y squared plus 21y plus 108 is equal to 0. Now, how do you solve this? Uh, here you have coefficient of y squared is 1. So you need two numbers whose product is 108 and their sum is 21. So what can be the uh, two numbers whose product 12 nines are 108, correct? Similarly, 12 plus 9 is 21. So what are the two numbers? The two numbers are going to be 12 and 9. Now since the coefficient of the y square term here is 1, just divide these two by 1 or just take them as such. 12 and 9 are going to be your roots and their sign is going to be negative. So negative 12 and negative 9 are your roots. So very clearly what can we see is that these two roots, no, they are definitely greater than these two at any point of time. So I can say that x is greater than y, that is option E. Yes.